नमस्कार अगेन आई केम बैक फॉर दि थार्ड पार्ट दिस टॉपिक माय टॉपिक वाज द आनंद मार्ग दी वे ऑफ आइडियल लाइफ दिस दिस पार्ट लेट आई एक्सप्लेन एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द धर्म दी थॉट ऑफ दॉट्स ऑफ आनंद मूर्ति जीज अबाउट दी धर्म और स्पिरिचुअलिटी व्हाट इज धर्म यदि धर्म इज दी संस्कृत वर्ड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ए लिटररी एक्सप्लेन सो जस्ट ओवरऑल summary of the explain i'm going because the western people uh, it is very it is very difficult for them to understand the uh, sanskrit uh, the literal uh, explain and also i have not so much ideas i am not uh, about the sanskrit very little ideas anyway so the word dharma uh, before i explain this uh, dharma uh, there are two term is dharma and dharma mat the word dharma uh, is uh, it has no sanskrit uh, it has no english uh, word no proper english term uh, near uh, near word uh, little near the word is called you can say the property or the nature dharma um, so what is dharma anandmurti ji our master has told dharma is one it is the inherent properties of the human being not only human being each and every being each and every being have their own dharma say for example uh, oxygen it has uh, own properties fire if you put uh if you keep your finger on the fire the fire will burn you your finger the water if you put your finger to the water so the water will wait you it is the properties a nature of the water it is the nature of nature of uh, the fire is uh, the to burn nature of water is to float or to wait like this each and every living or non living being they have their own properties and that particular properties is their dharma is called their dharma so like non living being living being also there are many there are plant, there are plant it means there are flora and fauna plant and animals so plants have their own dharma and animals have their own dharma so here the word dharma means uh, there is there is one slok brihadesu na pranidhanancha dharma means to to know him to march with him the urge urge to uh know him and then march with this with him who is him that the word brihad means supreme consciousness the cosmic consciousness as he is eternal and infinite entity entities so those who want to uh those who want to concentrate on him or their mind to think about him mind will become subtle subtler subtler and ultimately uh, in this process finally mind will be uh, uh pointed and ultimately that mind will merge with this cosmic consciousness and it become one then there will be no two entity uh, it will be same 
So that is cosmic consciousness. So dharma is brihadesana. Brihadesana means the the arch of the the great. Here the great means the supreme consciousness. That is dharma. So each and every being has their own dharma. Plant has the plant. They have own plants have their own dharma. And the animals have their own dharma. What is the uh, dharma of animal? Animal have four basic dharma. What is what is those dharmas? That is called. Uh, uh, they need food. Means food. When they feel hungry, they eat food. Food. This is these are four basic things. Uh, they sleep. Food sleep. fear the animals they also have the fear fear complex fear the fears and the procreation means yeah every entity living entity is also they want to expand them expand uh, through the process of the procreation um, so it is the inherent nature of the animal there are four basic aspect and it is called that jiva dharma it is called that jiva dharma basic dharma human being also have the four same basic qualities the ahar this means food sleep fear and the procreation but then we can say this human and animals are the same no because there are some specialities Uh, some certain 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 qualities uh, are carrying human beings that uh, that uh, difference from the animals and the human beings so what you, what are those points so yeah, it is the point is it is as per the anand murti ji philosophy he has told that it is bhagavad dharma dharma or the bhagavad dharma the dharma means the humanity is human wants to march human is infinite hunger human being wants infinity that is supreme consciousness if you give the him these are the acronym why people you know people uh, accumulate wealth food clothes wealth house it that it is their tendencies suppose some people have the thousand rupees or dollar huh? so do you think he or she will be happy no after getting this thousand uh, dollar or pound or euro or money they will start to think uh, instead of thousands If I can achieve, if I can get twenty uh, thousands or one million dollar, like this, so it never, it never uh, ends. Always increase the mind tendencies. I mean, more, more, more. I want more uh, money, 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 money is better than honey. So always people are rushing to the material of this, and and people have tendencies to accumulate. they don't have they don't need one person to run this family is means every month means need 2000 3000 2000, 2000 dollar maybe west in india how much need 10000 rupees or maybe 20000 rupees but still people they are earning when they are they are struggling or they are asking oh lord if you can give so i can manage my family in nice way okay lord has given or uh, the society uh, they are increasing power uh, purchasing power is increased has increased earning much more money but still he or she will be not you uh, will see uh, will not be happy uh, so mind will rush towards more more accumulating money wealth this is the tendency of the human mind so in sanskrit it is called nalpe sukhamasti bhumoi vasu kham human is human being is carrying the infinite hunger because 
we have come from the infinite entities supreme consciousness everybody has come but as human being is most developed creature in this world developed mind carrying the consciousness conscience in consciousness is remaining within us in very in, in unit form so we are carrying infinite we are we are we, we don't satisfy uh, with any limited things always our our hunger towards accumulating much more uh, things and material world is limited world so in limited material world and people have infinite hunger they jump what will happen fighting struggling uh, then killing nowadays what is happening nowadays in entire world uh, somebody is few people a group of people having their muscle power or military power or the the cleverness of the brain they exploiting the capitalists or other people they are exploiting majority of these person persons of this world accumulated all the wealth of this world it is in their hand and other people are serving they are starving so this is the thing so that's why this is not dharma so this is adharma just opposite so what dharma says dharma says it is this uh, the, the the longing for the uh, accumulating the material wealth is the common human tendency but human tendency is also uh, longing for the great longing for supreme that 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 is uh, kept inside our mind so that needs to uh, inculcate as grows that in our in our hearts uh, through the meditation so that's why is uh, what anand marg philosophy says you know human mind this material world is limited and the limited uh, human means the infinite hunger it cannot be fulfilled to material world because as it is limited world but psychic world is infinite world spiritual world is infinite world psychic wealth and spiritual wealth is infinite you can achieve as much as you can in psychic level wealth and uh, spiritual wealth as much as you can one can achieve so nobody will be suffer but in material world we have to follow strictly uh, as per the uh, the the rule of the ethics rule of the in our universe that is in a during the upanishad says the the shloka is the sang gachat dang sang badat dang sang mamana ang sijanatam what is this so that means uh, the spirit of unity we will all live together we will all eat together whatever this universe materials uh, this oil uh, like a, we will will uh, will consume Huh? We'll use all those material ways, wealth, like a joint family. That's why there must be a uh, system. Uh, that system is introduced nicely in our uh, socio-economic theory in Proud. It's called Proud. So that's why what Dharma says. Dharma says Dharma is inherent tendency. So what Proud uh, Ananda Margo says, philosophy is. Our this infinite hung, hunger, infinite longings, uh, infinite longings. We are trying to uh, achieve this material world. We have to switch over this hunger, material hunger, towards this psych, uh, spiritual world, spiritual wealth, through spiritual practice or meditation. Only then we can we can uh, fulfill our hunger. Uh, we can balance our mind. once we will practice uh, we will practice and start to our spiritual journey when we when you feel uh, uh, from our inner heart then you re- realize this universe is your homeland we are all brothers and sisters and our supreme father is uh, is the uh, head of this universal family so whatever is material wealth in this universe will will consume huh we we'll use rationally we we'll use we we'll use uh, collectively according to the policy of proud 
so this is the thing that's why uh, uh, with this rushing of this material enjoyment to accumulate much more uh, material wealth is infinite hunger will increase more and more and it will bring a big chaos uh, now as the societies we are facing so that's why uh, dharma is in our in our feeling it is one it is uh, dharma is the in, in i am not going to feel pleasurable aspect of this dharma there is there is this that is called bhagavad dharma uh, and vistar means expansion raso the ras means here this uh, uh, when our individual uh, rhythm when we march with this cosmic rhythm that state we have to achieve that is called in 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 the summary in this called raso the vistar ras seva in service the spirit of service the service is one way approach i am giving instead of i am not asking anything from anybody one way i will give and lord has given me chance to do serve that's why i am very lucky that type of feeling uh, one needs to carry and last upon is tat sthiti with this fulfillment or the practice of these three aspects vistar ras sevan seva and the goal is tat sthiti means then human being uh, spiritual uh, aspirants or devotees can can uh, uh, march or uh, stand or march with the supreme consciousness that is tat sthiti tat so sthiti omani kisu means then after this passing or practicing all these things as per this uh, spiritual uh, the cult uh, surely he or she will achieve supreme consciousness so this is dharma so dharma is each and every body is in this universe every human beings dharma is one so lord is one dharma is one dharma cannot be many but nowadays we say in uh, hindu muslim bauddh christian like this all is dharma uh, is in uh, religion no religion and the uh, dharma are not the same the word dharma has no english proper english word meaning and uh, religion in religion means in in bengali it's called in indian language is called dharma mat or upa dharma in um, um, in english uh, is religion so religion means uh, the uh, religion is not the dharma dharma and religion are not the same in arabian word is uh, madhab and the, the near nearest arabian word in dharma is iman like this so dharma that's a dharma anand margo is propagate this one dharma dharma is one all the human beings as the one is the one dharma that is everybody every human beings wants to uh, achieve wants to know wants to march with the supreme consciousness and that is their dharma dharma cannot be many now is hindu religion bauddha christian there are many and that is not created by the lord the religion is created by the different either prophets or different persons and religions are the bundles of dogmas and superstitions nowadays so religions cannot be uh, united religion cannot united uh, uh, what is called religion cannot uni- unite this uh, material world or this world it is beyond their capacity rather religion is uh, provoking or the the people's communities caste creed and colors and uh, till now we are seeing there are lot of uh, crusade blood shed in the name of religion still is going on amongst hindus among muslims among christianities all different all the religions are the, are the bundles of superstitions they believe the heaven and hell all these rituals things uh, they are they are the philosophical explanation all the their this mythology is is not based on logic and reason it's not acceptable so but dharma is based on the uh, concrete realistic and real logic and reason uh, ideologies 
that is spiritual philosophy spirituality and the religion is in, in different thing that's your anand margo uh, uh, practicing one dharma it is called manav dharma or bhagavad dharma one human race and one human dharma or bhagavad dharma so dharma math or religions are many uh, and that's why there are many superstitions so we have to uh, that's why due to this religious superstition there are also religious exploitation in the name of god till now in the name of heaven and hell hell common peoples this uh, yeah, the the privileged religious uh, they are they are uh, upper upper uh, those who are guiding uh, the, their religion religion uh, they are exploiting their 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 uh, their, their followers in the name of god in the name of allah in the name of ishwar lord is one he is infinite eternal and for lord because according to anand margo our supreme father is one we are all uh, brothers and sisters in verse your homeland that's why we don't believe in religion religion cannot i again i have told religion for religion it is quite impossible for them to unite the human societies rather they are discriminating so anand margo is spiritual is a spiritual organization anand margo prachara sangha uh, uh, is a socio spiritual organization i will come uh, later on my my subject uh, what is uh, uh, organization anand margo prachara sangha but no anand margo is the philosophy uh, is, uh, is uh, comprehensive ideology is given by your master sri sri anand murthy ji and this very basic philosophy is our motto is to unite this entire world not only world it is based on universalism and uh, nowadays yeah, uh, this uh, um, what is called world uh, scientist uh, couldn't uh, achieve or reach the other planet or galaxies there uh, may be uh, more much much more developed civilization in other galaxies or solar systems very near future when uh, the society will be uh, will, will 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 free uh, will be free will be freed from the uh, exploitation corruption and proud when uh, when proud will establish when proud will establish and then science will run in the hand of under the guidance of spirituality this means the scientist have to follow the spiritual path so only then science will uh, bring this world actually you can see the uh, there is no heaven where practically it will bring the heaven the uh, science will develop science will invent so many things for the betterment of the human life for the welfare of the humanities but nowadays uh, science uh, have been inventing um, uh, or discovering discovering uh, so many things which is uh, uh, those things are the cause for the uh, it is called the destroy of the humanities but surely we we, we sure anand murthy is told uh, this earth don't worry even there is atom bomb uh, maybe hydrogen bomb but don't worry this humanity will not destroy uh, in the near future uh, human human mind is more stronger than atom bomb when the human mind has created this atom bomb or hydrogen bomb near future this human mind will protect how to protect from the devastating effect uh, of this atom uh, another bomb or more stronger powerful bomb they will uh, invent uh, they will discover to to the bad effect all the demolish or destructive effect of the atom bomb or uh, it is called uh, hydrogen bomb so to, to protect the humanities so that science will uh, uh, discover very soon that's why don't need to worry and even anand murthy has told the in near future if there is the due to the uh, if there is happen once the thermal death uh, of the uh, sun or this uh, due to the thermal death of the sun if this uh, world uh, is uh, not fit for this uh, living uh, within this uh, time Uh, science will develop so much in this uh, world science they will discover they will discover more very advanced uh, the uh, it is called uh, transportation 
uh, thousands and million powerful uh, rocket than uh, this present uh, rocket systems and they will shift humanity human being will shift from this uh, world to another uh, stars or planet or galaxy so don't worry so that's why humanity's uh, future is very glorious as per anand moti ji so anand margo that's why anand margo slogan one bhagavad dharma one manav dharma so hence let's take a bow uh, let let's take a bow hence for there will be no discrimination of caste creed and color no exploitation no corruption so this is hot uh, sort about uh, about the dharma about the anand margo's philosophy dharma there are much more to explain but i just explain in very brief uh, in front of you so with this my third part uh, i am concluding my third part of this uh, this present uh, series uh, with this namaskar thank you